Wow, look at all those pans. I only own one pan. I think whenever I think about getting a boyfriend, I always think, I'm gonna need more than one pan. Everybody, thank you so much for coming back and seeing me and Desi today and I think we're gonna have a little bit of fun today I want to take you on a little tour of my house and I have been here two weeks and my furniture is here and most of my painting is done for now now it's not it's far from decorated but I want to show you the bones of this beautiful little cottage that I bought. And I, I need to ask you your opinion on a few things. But you've been so sweet and kind and I can't wait to share some of these things with you. I got a beautiful new refrigerator that matches my other appliances and I got it on sale. They delivered it to me but it had no handles. <laughs> I had to claw my way in uh, for about 24 hours, but then they came and they brought the handles. What else happened? Oh, I painted my fireplace. And I think the difference of going from a dark color to a light color just, it cheered up the whole room and it just made it so much cozier. So I want to show you that. All of my furniture has arrived and I placed it in the proper room so I can show you that. There are pieces of furniture I need, but I'm just going to wait. I don't want to rush and have everything exactly what I want at this very moment without listening to the house. There, there's so much character and dignity to this house. I need to just kind of sit back and and make some decisions about curtains and uh, porch furniture. I can't really decorate the sunroom until I know exactly what am I using that room for? I don't know. Am I gonna lounge in there? <laughs> am I gonna uh, sit and have wine and look over my gardens that don't exist yet? Because the landscaper hasn't come yet. He's coming Tuesday, so I'm looking forward to that. But. So far, I look out and it's a sea of forget-me-nots and dandelions and desi. <laughs> I want to take you on a little tour throughout the house. And I've met my neighbors and they are so lovely. And so, you know, I am only two blocks away from the police station. <laughs> so Andy and Barney are just a couple blocks away. Uh, one of my neighbors is an ex-police officer and he helped me set up a nice little security system here. I thought that was so nice and he's so nice. And I found a lovely romantic cafe called the Blue Cow. 
And I can actually walk there from my house. I found a Salvation Army. I found a Goodwill. I found the Secretary of State. I've had so much fun. I haven't gotten lost once. How about that? <laughs> but I'm so glad you're here today. I just love you so much. So do you want to go on a little tour with me? All right, let's do this. Anybody home? Anybody home? Who's here? Desi, are you here? There you are. How you doing? I'm so happy to see you. Can we have a visit? Can hey everybody, welcome to my new home. I just painted this fireplace. It was a very dark blue gray and I am loving that it's much lighter and I think it opens up the living room area. I, I just adore it. Desi, what do you think? Do you like the new fireplace color? These are my new chairs. They are an oatmeal and they're very comfortable. There seems to be a theme in my living room of women playing instruments and I'm just fine with that. But it was a challenge to make the living room and the dining room space two separate areas. But I do think that I'm on my way of achieving that. I have two different rugs, one small and one large, and they're the same colors but a different pattern. So I think that worked out really well. And the television that I chose is on the south wall. I have it pretty low on a mid-century modern TV stand, so you really don't even notice that. I have a TV in the room, which I love. As you can see, there is a foyer when you walk in, and the steps will lead you to the loft bedroom and bathroom suite. And I think a fair observation is that you might think that the tile in the foyer and by the fireplace doesn't go with the rug, and you are correct, but I am going to have that tile changed to something more appropriate for the year that the house was built in 1939. But I do love this living room space. I have, what, one, two, three, four, I have five big windows in this space and I just love it. It's about 40 feet by 40 feet and it's just gonna be so fun to decorate. I wanna shout out my good friend Deborah for sending me that beautiful arrangement for my dining room, but I'm liking this. I, I like the arrangement. I love it that I have some old furniture that I have had almost all my life, and they're here in my dining room. I have a gallery wall of my favorite black and white photographs, and everything about this little dining area to me just screams birthdays, Thanksgiving, everything happy at grandma's house. This room has such a lovely view of the backyard that I'm gonna have landscaped. So that's just so exciting to me that that's going to be able to happen. Coming from the kitchen, this is the view of the dining room and the living room and you can see how large it is. Now my question to you is what in the world am I going to do for window treatments? These are such beautiful bright windows and I so want to figure out what am I going to do for window treatments. <laughs> I love my kitchen. It's quite a large kitchen for an older house. It has a nice little eating area here right off the porch and I have Another rug like this coming that's just slightly bigger, so I'm going to have two of these rugs. I love my china cabinet there with all my blue china and glasses. And I brought Bee's watercolor all the way from Grand Rapids. She's sticking with us. I love my table here for breakfast in the morning, but I've got to invest in some very nice chairs. And I think it'll be really nice and cheerful once I get the right seating arrangement. Oh, my sweet friend sent me some more of this beautiful Italian china that I love. And here is the little pot that I got at the Salvation Army, looking so good matching my cupboards. This is my kitchen. This is the view of my kitchen from the porch. 
And as you can see, I got a new refrigerator. How about that? And it even has handles. It has a bottom freezer, and I love that because I really don't have a lot of frozen food. So everything is on top where I can easily access it, and I love it. I have some very pretty butcher block countertops, and I think they're very, very nice. And I'm debating whether to keep the blue of the kitchen. I like a very happy space, and I'm thinking maybe uh, a very cheerful yellow and gold might be really nice in this space. I'm not sure exactly what to do, but I just want everything happy, especially in the morning. But it's a lovely, lovely kitchen, and it's so large. There's going to be a lot of bacon going on here at Christmas with the grandchildren. I'm this is my little sun porch, and I have not decorated this yet because I don't know what I'm going to be doing out here. Am I going to be having lunch with friends? Am I going to be lounging, reading? I don't know. Maybe I will just be overlooking the gardens here. But I'm just going to just sit with having my favorite chair here and some favorite books. I'm going to go and get some beautiful plants, my favorite plants, and put them around and just sort of breathe a little bit and see what I want to do with this lovely, lovely room. These sliding doors go out a little patio area that I'm going to have redone and I think it's just going to be so beautiful. There's a beautiful little arch here. I think the architecture here is so pretty and it's just a little hallway. I have a lot of storage here. This is the downstairs bathroom and it's very, very pretty. And I'm planning on painting my bedroom and making some changes, but I love it here. It has three windows, it's so light. And this little guy, Desi, seems to be totally in love with this room. And I don't know why, but he sort of adopted my bedroom as his own. I'm going to go ahead and get a smaller bed. This is a queen size bed and I am going to get a full bed. So that's gonna open up the room a little bit more for me. But I do love it. I could have taken the larger bedroom upstairs, but this one, I just thought for so many reasons, just made me feel like home, like a little cottage bedroom. Lots of lovely little surprises and spaces in this home and just everything so lovely and cheerful. The way the light hits everything. There's just a beautiful <laughs> big bathtub where you can soak your troubles away and I just love it. I'm going to have this bathroom painted and then I'll sort of go from there and decide what I really want to do. But it's very, very lovely. from the upstairs loft bedroom and bathroom and there's a beautiful chandelier that's hanging over the steps and it's very lovely. Are you having fun little boy? <laughs> I think this suite up here has an awful lot of potential to be a really relaxing wonderful area to get a lot of work done. This rug that I have here is 9 by 12 and a half so this is a very, very large room that I could have taken for my bedroom, but I decided I would rather decorate this for a very nice guest room and my office most of the time, and I'm really enjoying my time up here very much. This area is my bathroom dressing room suite, and it is so pretty. I haven't done a thing with it. I have to design exactly where I want the shelves and where I want the art, how I want it painted. Over here is a very deep walk-in closet. It needs some work. This closet is gigantic. I, I swear I could buy clothes all year and I still couldn't fill it up. 
and I may actually take out part of the wall I'm not sure but but this is a very beautiful vanity it has a marble top and this is the most beautiful place for a woman to put on her makeup and up there is Bluetooth so while I'm taking the most amazing shower I can listen to a podcast or my very favorite music and it just sounds so beautiful and around the corner is a bodet and I've never actually experienced a bodet before but once you do you never forget it <laughs> Gail is coming to visit me next March so I told her that I would have this little suite done by the time she gets here from London but it's really going to be fun to decorate this and have this organized but I think it's just really a lovely space. To the one thing I've noticed about being up here is I don't feel invisible. I feel that when I smile I get a smile back. Someone asked me how I am and they're a stranger to me and then we start chatting and that must be what it's like to live in a small town and I think I'm gonna like it a lot and I can't wait to take you with me oh I found a salon and they seem very nice and so I haven't been to a salon in eight weeks oh dear and usually when I move my hair falls out so <laughs> knock on Moose, I don't know, but it's hanging in there. <laughs> I made it to the Secretary of State so I could change my license, and right next door was a Salvation Army. <laughs> so I went in and I was so thrilled, and I found this sort of arts and crafts base, and it was the same color as my cupboards in the kitchen. And I just thought, well, that's just such a cool omen. I I've just been having such a wonderful time. I had such a special Mother's Day this year. Being in the same city as my grandchildren, just there's no words to describe how, how it feels. And my grandson and I, we were eating pizza on Mother's Day and he kind of stopped and he looked at me and he said, Grandma, why do you love us so much? And I said, love you so much. I love you more every day than the day before. My love is like a, a big balloon that I'm blowing up. And he giggled and he laughed and he seemed to understand that love has no limits. In, in your heart, you have so much room for so much love of so many different people and so many different things. It's endless. And I have a feeling that he asked me that because in his mind at five years old, he might be thinking, well, grandma lived an hour away and now she lives five minutes away. She must love us so much. And I'm going to spend the rest of my life trying to show him why I love him so much. Yeah. a beautiful neighborhood here and I haven't lived in a neighborhood like this since I was a kid. It's so beautiful. It makes you want to get up really early in the morning and say hello to life. It's just beautiful and I want to show you everything about this area. It's so magical and I want to thank you for getting me through all the fear that I had when I was buying this house. I was so afraid. I was afraid of everything, change and a new city and, and the money and the commitment and could I do it? Was I too old? But you helped me, you helped me so much get through it. You gave me so much strength and you inspired me to keep going. And I think we do that for each other here. We walk each other home all the time. But one thing I really learned when I saw this house, I didn't fall in love with it because of what it was or how it looked. 
I fell in love with it because I could imagine what it could be. And that's what I've been working on every day. I, I want this house to live up to its dignity, to its potential. And I sort of translated that into maybe that's how I should start living my life in every area instead of looking at, at something and seeing the flaws. I, I look at it and think what it could be. And I, I like that. It, it's a different way to live. Not expecting something to be perfect but loving something for what it could be. If you just put a little love and energy and dedication into it. Yeah, so I thank you. I thank you for giving me a brave heart. Hey everybody, thank you so much for going on the tour with us today. I loved every second of it. And did you see the Great Dane that Desi is now friends with? Oh my goodness, he is the sweetest dog. Thank you so much for your love and your support. And if you get a chance down below, could you help me decide what kind of window treatments I should have for my living room and dining room? I truly, I'm stumped. So any ideas you have, I would just love to hear them. Please know we love you and have yourself a wonderful, happy, safe, brand new week. And when you're done with your week, come back and see me and Desi, okay? Okay. It's a deal. We'll be here. I like that. That's so peaceful. That would look really good in my dressing room. <laughs>